I hope you are having a wonderful Monday, viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nube. Uh, on Friday, I came out live and informed uh, you that the South African government had extended the moratorium on the Zimbabwe exemption permit. You know that it was supposed to expire on the 31st of December this year after a grace period of 12 months but now the government has extended again by a further six months to the 30th of june 2023 uh, the main reason being there's been a very low uptake uh, of the offer for zimbabweans who are on the zep to apply for mainstream south african permits so the government then decided that to allow people more time to apply for permits and waivers they had to extend by a further six months so what this means is that you have to take advantage of this time to sort yourselves out uh, if you want to apply for a waiver you now have a, a bit of more time to apply but take advantage uh, as soon as possible if you want to apply for a permit just go ahead as well and apply immediately so that the government gets to know that many of you are still interested in remaining in South Africa and remaining here legally. So this is not the time to be wasting any more because we are not sure what is going to happen after the six months. Is it going to be extended again? That will depend uh, on what the government decides based on the number of applications that are being received and the, the length of time that it takes to process and adjudicate the applications. So most of you have said that they applied for waivers, they applied for permits, but they had not yet been responded to and they didn't know what they were supposed to do uh, because the time was running to a close. It was less than three months, uh, less than four months remaining rather. And now we have about an extra six months, which makes it about nine months for you to process, I mean, to apply for waivers and permits. So my advice to you will be take advantage of this time, sort yourselves out. If you want to apply for the permit, just go ahead and apply. We'll share the link underneath this video of where to go. Then you will follow that link and start applying. You will choose whether you want to apply for a waiver or you want to apply for a web permit. So this is what I have to tell you this morning because people are asking what it means uh, for this permit uh, application process to be uh, increased. I mean, to be uh, the time to be increased or what it means for this grace period to be further extended. Uh, it was because the government uh, realized that most people were not applying, maybe due to a lack of knowledge of what has to be done, or because of the time that uh, was given to them, which they believed was maybe very short, 12 months. Now it's altogether, it becomes 18 months. So our advice to you is, please take advantage of this time, sort yourselves out so that when the time comes, because there are warning signs that there will be mass deportations after this 